The global threat of volcanoes and geyser eruptions is growing as scientists sound the alarm. Supervolcanoes are in a class of their own. Unlike regular eruptions, they eject more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. Volcanoes have fascinated humans for thousands of years with their fiery plumes and rivers of molten rock. But beneath the familiar cone-shaped peaks lies a quieter, more hidden danger, supervolcanoes. These colossal forces don't rumble often, but when they do, their impact can span entire continents. Studying these sleeping giants offers not only fascinating science, but also a sobering warning for the planet's future. Supervolcanoes are in a class of their own. Unlike regular eruptions, they eject more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, That's enough to bury entire cities under layers of ash. And they don't look like volcanoes, you might imagine. Instead of a summit, supervolcanoes often form as giant calderas, huge, sunken areas that form when a magma chamber empties and collapses. Their eruptions top the Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, labeled VEI-8. That's the highest possible score. By compare, the famous eruption that buried Pompeii was a VEI-5, much weaker. A single VEI-8 eruption wouldn't just devastate the surrounding region. It could alter weather patterns, block out sunlight, and disrupt global agriculture. Supervolcanoes operate over long, quiet periods, making them difficult to predict. However, their extraordinary potential keeps scientists on alert. These rare eruptions can alter climates, reshape coastlines, and destabilize global systems. Understanding their eruption patterns is key to preparing for the unimaginable. The best estimates put an impact crater its size at 2.74 kilometers wide. However, with activity flowing across Pluto, material would likely fill the crater over time, making it shallower. However, Kaladze is not shallower than projected. It is actually deeper. Parts of the basin reach depths of 2.5 inches, and the average overall depth of the basin is nearly 3 kilometers. For these reasons, Emron and his colleagues suspect Kaladze is a caldera, a massive depression formed by a volcanic eruption and collapse. Magma, or cryomag, that erupts rapidly from the surface in a short period of time, can weaken the supporting material, causing it to collapse inward. Even if the supervolcano collapses, the force of Kiladze's eruption must have been impressive. Emron and his colleagues estimate that the eruption could have ejected up to 240 cubic miles, 1,000 cubic kilometers, of icy cryomam into the surrounding area. However, recent of water ice at least 100 kilometers across. Emron suspects that estimate is too low, as it's likely that more water ice was seen at a finer resolution than New Horizons can achieve. What are more powerful explosive eruptions that resulted in the excavation and collapse of what appears to be the Kiladze caldera would have spread the water ice cryomag widely across a thousand kilometers? This would leave an exposure too small to be seen in the existing data, 
the authors wrote in a paper recently published in the Planetary Science Journal. However, in Kiladze's immediate vicinity, water ice extends across its surface. This ice contains traces of an as-yet unidentified ammonia compound. It's difficult to determine its exact composition, Emron said. In fact, the ammonia signature is not seen anywhere else on Pluto.